Sorry, what? It's going, five minutes, go. <laughs> okay, so um, this talk was supposed to be about, uh, can you handle to change the, to about CarTV. CarTV is an open source software, it's a geospatial database on the cloud that lets you do maps out of PostgreSQL. So basically put SQL and you get <coughs> maps out of it. But uh, on the last two hours, I decided to change the talk. And I was going to show you how to make a map very quickly using SQL and CSS. But I, I saw the, uh, on the Atlantis the Schemaverse presentation, I thought it would be cool actually to make a map out of the Schemaverse. So that's what we're going to be doing. And first, we, uh, this is very, very big hack on the last two, two hours. So, All right. So the uh, first steps was we just exported all the planet data, and we exported all the data of the ship flight recorder. Um, so just to get a bit of an idea, um, for those who don't know about the Schemaverse, this is just a bunch of ships currently flying around and their coordinates throughout. Um, that's going well. Yeah, it's not really loading anyways, so you're not missing much. But it could have worked. <laughs> yeah, well, oh god, what have we done? Anyways. so. Luckily, we have this in what gets exported. We just exported it to CSV, and now that's not going to load for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving along, I, I swear that data looked great. I get that. <laughs> so. Okay, hopefully the last part will work something. So essentially what we wanted to do is to see if we could visualize that data. So uh, we just load it basically on CartoDB. So the way we did that is just by, um, essentially, you can just drag and drop the file that we just created before. You can also connect it, but I'm going to, is this one, right? So I'm uh, going to take this one, okay. So those are the planets, and just kind of drag and drop it. And that will just create a new table on this CartoDB account. And basically, it has the, the latitude and longitude. You didn't see in the SQL, but basically, there's a position for every planet. We just transform it into fake geographic locations, and we were going to do a map out of it. So, because the internet is not going to let us do much more today. Oh, yeah, it's running. So, okay, so the data is there. And you can just click on the map view. And you will see a very nice map here. <laughs> well, what we wanted to see actually was not the planets. We wanted to see actually the, uh, the ships moving. And what we did is, is we loaded into this other table. It's called Safe Flight Recorder. And we have one record per each ship per location. So ships are moving, so we have this, uh, this uh, uh, column called talk, which basically is like the time. So what we have is one full day of data of ships moving, trying to attack other planets. And what we did this was just then put it onto an, one of the uh, CarTV libraries and visualize it, visualize it as an animation. So what you see here is a one day, uh, is a one day of uh, ships moving. So every day the data restarts, so you see now it's going, and there's basically four main players going on. We can show it later with the, compared to the, to the other map that we have already. But you see now it's starting the day. So you see that they started the different parts of the map and how they start expanding. They have a, the, the three ones are very clear. They have a, a very uh, peculiar strategy just trying to expand as fast as they can. While others you can see, I'm going to pause it here so we can see it. So you can see others have like this ones, this guy is here like trying to move as fast as he can from one place to another. So um, yeah, and this is, uh, this is how it looks like. There's, uh, can we show the map of the... So this is kind of a heat map of what planets own it. So you can see kind of where they all came from as far as everyone coming from different areas, one person in the middle, and then you got the guy down in the very bottom right. If we take a quick look at this one again, then it gives you a nice little view. And you can definitely imagine where their ships are coming in and how they're actually expanding to where they are now in that map and kind of fighting with each other. Right. So this is a very quick demo that we just uh, ran. Obviously not very good on the last two hours. But if, you, if you're interested about learning how to do maps out of uh, data, uh, CarTV is a great tool for doing that. And we, we can visualize really large amounts of data uh, in the, you know, the moves over time. But also like if you just need to make them, if there's static, uh, static maps, you can also make them. Basically, it's based on PostgreSQL and PostGIS. So if there's anybody interested in talking about how, to, uh, how PostGIS works and so on, we, we're working a lot on it. So we're interested always in, you know, in any kind of like geographic or mapping uh, functionality or, or, or application that you might want to build. So thank you very much.